So I really would like to get a diamond pronghorn antelope and the other night I went out and searched for one and I didn't find a diamond pronghorn but I found this. There's a herd of plains bison there and the one in the middle I'm pretty sure is a rare melanistic. It's a female but we have the M1 and the bow on us right now. So even though it's a female I still would like to get close enough to make a really good shot. I mean close enough within like 100 150 of this melanistic plains bison so it looks like we're to be about 150 which as you saw the other day we took down a tom turkey at 203 yards so if we can take down a turkey at 203 yards we should be able to hit a plains bison at about 150 okay she just stepped out to the open there and she's pretty broadside we're looking at 151 we're drawing back here i would like to get zeroed in for at least like 130 123 130 that'll work and that looked perfect. That should have been a nice double lung shot. Let's take a look and see how we did. And 0%. Oh, she's going down. She is going down right there. We just took her down at 150 yards out with the bow. Well, here she is down right here. She's not really in the greatest spot for a picture because she's in all this tall grass, but we'll see if we can't work something out. That is such a rare animal that we really want to try and get at least one, maybe two good pictures of this rare plains bison. And that'll work. Let's pick her up and see how we did. 153 yard left lung liver. Looks like we tucked it in there nicely right behind that front shoulder. But a 65 scoring a rare melanistic plains bison with the bow. That's pretty sweet because now we're going to have an albino male plains bison and a rare melanistic plains bison female. So we'll have them side by side and I think that's going to look pretty awesome. We're definitely not going to pass up this bull. How wasn't that a heart shot? Ooh. Not going to pass him up either. That's an 8 mythical. I don't think he's going to go too far. <laughs> that sucker's toast. So, the bull, we missed the heart. But the mountain lion... We did not. It's actually going to be a good bull. Right lung. I pulled just left of the heart and then shoulder blade. 388 gold is not a bad bull, but hopefully he comes back a little bit bigger. So I just checked the map and the mountain lion actually drink the same time as the elk too. What a coincidence. It's like they get the prime picking for their dinner. Okay, right here is our mountain lion. Grab him. That's a mythical. That's going to be a good one. Double lung heart shot at 246 yards out. A 38 gold is a pretty solid mythical. We'll take a look at that shot though. Very nice. But there's a bear right there and I think that's a 7. So when he slows down, well he slowed down for a second but he should slow down one more time. And we're still looking at roughly 400. Ooh, that was right on the money. Oh, hello. Ah, I hit the wrong button. Dang, I wanted to get that so bad. Oh, we might actually be able to get lucky enough to get this thing. I see it right there. Oh, that thing is toast. <laughs> oh, man. It stopped right at the perfect time. And we just made an awesome shot. I think we dropped it, actually. I think we got double lung liver. Let's go over here and check, because I didn't see it come past that hill, so... I mean, there's no way we missed a uh, vital hit, and yeah, he ran a little ways. I don't even know what it was, actually. Eh, uh, female. Okay. So let's go over and see if we got the bear. No hunting pressure over there at this point, but I mean, that is a long ways away. Oh, we almost ran right past it. Uh, left lung and stomach just barely missed the liver on that thing. Otherwise, it probably would have dropped. Ooh... 424 yards, stomach, liver, and left lung, a 20.20 .20 gold. That thing was right on the money. What a perfect shot right there. 424 yards, gold, black bear. Well, now this isn't something you see every day. That's actually not a bad bull there, but I just saw 
another elk right next to this uh, mountain lion out here. It's a Sun Very Hard mountain lion. And he was just out there drinking with that mountain lion. But I saw a real decent four the other day here. And I really want to try and find him, if at all possible. I was hoping he'd come out here to get a drink, but... I don't know if he wants to do that at this point because this mountain lion is out here which we should probably just take down got a bear over there okay we're gonna take down this mountain lion it's a nice one i think it's like a seven uh 350 out so we'll back up a little bit and go for a shot on this mountain lion that actually might have been high but either way it should catch vertebrae you know it might actually drop in there yeah that's gonna be Oh, no, it caught it caught double lung, so nice. And now the elk can actually drink in peace. There's one right there, and there comes the other one. Okay, so they should calm down and get a drink of water now. More culprits. Two of them, in fact. Uh, that's another seven. We might take him down to 70. I'll take him down. These elk are something else. What are they doing? Hey, right, here's our mountain lion. Ended up catching ooh, a little bit low. Barely missed the heart though. 37.50. Double lunged him at 280 yards out. And 1,500 cash is not bad. Where do you think you're going? I didn't think so. Uh, first shot should have been a heart shot. So the mountain lion ran this way. And then we have another mountain lion as well. Right lung at 298. You can see it's so much easier to track down animals when you actually have the tracks on. But it also kind of covers up the entire screen. So I try to keep them off as much as possible. Uh, first shot didn't get heart we were going right for it but i didn't know if we would get the penetration the second shot pretty much the exact same thing but we actually caught left lung on that but it was only a female anyways 1200 cash i'll take yeah but the tracks are really helpful but at the same time you can see how they kind of clutter up the entire screen so if at all possible i try and keep the tracks off that way it makes it more realistic and not really so bothersome i guess Ah, the sound of these mountain lions and pumas are just something else. <laughs> uh, that is not a six. I saw a six for sure. Anyways, we're just going to go grab the... I think it was a seven or was it a mythical? Whatever it was, it got smoked. Double lunged him at 385. Wow. <laughs> Remember I thought I hit a little bit high, but that was a beautiful shot. Right behind the shoulder blade, 385 and a 37.60 gold mountain lion you know i had this crazy idea that just maybe elk might drink in this spot i honestly didn't think i would be right but apparently this is where they hang out that was not a bad size four right there uh this is a really good spot for mule deer and turkey in fact this is where i set up my turkey setup right here and ended up getting i think like seven or eight gobblers in that one spot there's a turkey there but i don't think we're gonna spot it I won't mind getting that bull down, but I actually came here to try and find uh, some mountain lions because they still drink for another like 10 minutes and I don't see any. So, well, I think we were right because we changed the time, came back to our spot and what do we see right there? That is our big bull. Why is he spooking though? <laughs> that wasn't really my plan. Uh, I mean, at least we found him and we know where they're drinking at now. Right here from 1700 until 1830. Oh, so we actually do have a full hour and a half. I didn't know that. 1700. Um, I guess some spots it's 1730, some spots it's uh, 1700. But there's a bunch of mule deer there as well. But there's our bull stopped out there at 420. I don't really know if we can get much closer to him. We don't need to either, so... We'll just go for him if he's gonna... Uh, he might... Yeah, that's what I thought was gonna happen. Alright. That looked good. 
Where'd he go? Intestine, 407 score. That's him. So 378 yards, only one hit. All right, guys, welcome back to our trophy lodge. Now this trophy lodge is actually filling up quite fast. So we're gonna have to find a new place to put stuff. These are all pretty much diamond turkeys here. We have a couple of uh, rare melanistic turkeys there. And then we have, of course, uh, our coolest rare of this trophy lodge right here. But I mean, for the most part, all the floor space is pretty much taken by cool animals. Those are all three diamonds there. That's not a diamond, that's not a diamond, and that's not a diamond. So maybe we could probably switch this out and maybe that one there. Uh, that's a diamond and that's a diamond. So we're kind of running out of room for big and cool animals. For instance, we have this uh, melanistic plains bison that I don't even know where we're gonna put. I think we might actually put them right next to our, I thought it was an albino, but it's actually a leucistic plains bison. That's a male that we got. Uh, that's the one we got with the recurve, not the recurve. I called it the recurve like 10 times, but we got it with the longbow off of the rooftop from I think like 68 yards, which that was a pretty awesome shot, but we'll keep him next to our melanistic plains bison. So we'll end up having two really cool rare bison side by side in our trophy lodge here. But with that, we're pretty much gonna get filled up for space. I don't even know like where we're gonna put anything big. We have plenty of room to put stuff that's like decent size up on the walls, but anything that's rare and big, I want to have it full body mounted. I just, I can't have it like a head mount on the wall if it's going to be rare and cool. It's got to be full body mounted. So yeah, we'll have to figure out a way to, I don't know, get a different lodge or something. But anyways, that turned out to be a pretty awesome hunt. And this is our rare melanistic plains bison. It's a female, but she's a really cool, rare, and an awesome addition. To our trophy lodge but yeah that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time